Hi guys. Welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm doing this video because I think a lot of people, they don't understand the struggle uh, that dark skin girls face as far as finding the perfect foundation. And I know that there's a bunch of um, new technology out there that does the, like the foundation IQs and things like that that would help. But really the struggle is real when it comes to this. And I mean, a lot of foundations is really, really expensive. Like I had a NARS, it didn't work too well. So now I'm like going through my collection and I'm like, okay, well, let's just like test these out so, so people can see. So the first thing I have is like... Is the Fenty Beauty, um, Fenty Beauty Soft Filter uh, Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation, and my shade in this is a 430. I don't know if you can, if you can see that. Yeah, this camera sucks. It's it well, it's a 430. So I'm just gonna swatch it so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, and so this is Fenty Beauty. 430 okay that's 430 the next thing that I have I guess I, I own this uh 430 obviously um so I went down to SD Lauder and then I did like that foundation IQ again uh just to see um if I can get maybe like a, a better match you know and so the shade that they came up with was I think uh sandalwood sandalwood is what that's called and so this is, I don't know, it, it looks kind of dark in the bottle, but when I swatch it, this is what it looks like. Okay. Uh, so we got Fenty Beauty. Uh, we got uh, SD Lauder. And so uh, that's two so far. And the, 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 this is supposed to be a good match for me, for both of them. Okay. All right. The next thing that I have, and I, I mean, I, I don't have a lot of drugstore stuff because I would get so much flashback that it, it was just ridiculous. It really, it's like you go out and you spend 12 bucks and then it's it's not a good match. So what's the point? I figure, you know, getting like better quality stuff will fix the problem, but no. So I also have a MAC foundation and I got to get a, a better better camera for you guys so you can really see. So this is a MAC Studio Fix uh, Fluid, and this is NC55, which is supposed to be a good uh, match for me also. And so this is our MAC NC55, NC okay, NC55. And that's what that looks like. Okay. All right. And so, I mean, I've, I've just been shopping trying to find a good foundation. So the next one that I have is a Becca. And this is, which is supposed to be a good fit, Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. And this is in the color Dark Golden. Hmm. Okay. And so this has like a dropper or something. It's a little bit weird. But I mean, it looked like in the bottle, it looked like it would have been a good fit. It looks kind of dark. Um, so I'm like, yeah, that, that might work, you know. And so here we go. Here we go. All right. So I believe this is Fenty Beauty 430. Um, and then we have SD Lauder Sandalwood. And then... The next one was MAC Studio Fix. And now we are at Becca Dark Golden. Okay. Becca Dark Golden. And so the next one I have, I, I'm not making this up, guys. I'm just, and I, these foundations, they're not cheap. Okay. The next one I decided to try was a, this is Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender. This looks like it's like upside down. Whatever. Uh, I, I'm new at this. Forgive me. Um, but anyway, this is a Beauty Blender 430. 430. And I tried it out in Sephora, went outside, you know, did like the natural lighting thing. <sighs> I think it was like $40. I came home and I was like, oh, what is, like, what is this? 
you know. And so this is what the Beauty Blender looks like. Okay. Okay. So the blender. I'm not giving you the fingers, guys. I'm just trying to get this stuff on. This Beauty Blender. Um, and so the last thing I have is a, I guess, Natasha Denona. I don't know who Natasha is, but that's Natasha. And so they sent me a bunch of samples, I guess. And um, let's just get in there. Nice, clean finger. So, and this is Natasha Denona. <laughs> and this is a 90N Dark. Now, this is the end result. The closest match I would think would be the Rihanna, but I still think it's not a good match. And the thing with Rihanna is after you walk around with it for a while, for me, it seems to get like darker um, and not such a bad thing. But I just feel like when when your skin is like kind of dark and gray looking, it just tends to make you look a bit older than you are. And I... I have a ton of stuff, you know, I have like, you know, priming and setting spray and, and, and color correcting thing and, and, and Too Faced thing. And I mean, I have a whole bunch, I'm like a products girl, <laughs> you know? Uh, so I have, I mean, I prime, I, I do all the right things. Um, but it's just the, the, it, it's, it's just bad. Like people need to do more as far as companies need to do a, a lot more as far as uh, getting, uh, making uh, products or foundations that fit darker skin girls. I'm like in the category, I'm not quite an espresso, but I'm not a caramel uh, and I'm not a mocha. I, I don't really know what I am. I, maybe a cocoa. I, I have no idea. Um, but the, the thing is, I'm just, I have all this stuff that I'm spending all this money on and it's still, I'm not happy with it. Not a good fit. So recently, I think it's Morphe that came out with 60 Shades. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, another company with a bunch of different shades and none of it really fits. Um, but I looked at the different um, levels and things that they have and it looked like there might be something in in it for me on, uh, I think it was like a level four, um, which is like the dark. And after that, it's like a deep. So I ordered the swatch and I'm waiting to see, waiting for it to show up and then see if I can find my perfect match um, with that. The problem with that, um, that I'm hearing like a, lo a, lo a lot of um, uh, people or girls that have tried the uh, foundation saying that they say it's really, really matte. Um, and it's a full coverage uh, foundation, like right off the bat, it's full. You can't really build it up. So I'm a little bit concerned about that um, because I, I I tend to like more like a soft finish. I don't like heavy looking makeup on my face. So I am super excited. I'm waiting for that Morphe to show up and I'm going to swatch it for you guys and see if we can find our perfect Match. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.